So we're gonna start like from here. So I'm sitting, foot on the ground, hand on the ground, and I will push myself back and I will go back. So here, look. Back. Different than the hip skate. And again, adults or kids. But I'll repeat this for the adults. Hand in front of me. It's almost like a, well, it is a technical stand-up position. Here, here, right? Here. Right? From neutral to here. Push yourself back. Push yourself forward again. Here, it has been a long time since I got the guys to, to do this. Here, if you want to remember what we said last class, maybe keep your toes on the ground, heels closer to your leg, to your butt, and then I can move a little bit back. Once you do a few of those, now you can do every three. So say one, two, three, Get back to your wrestling stance, judo stance, striking stance, doesn't matter, all right? So try that, maybe pause the video. Try that if you're doing this right now, cool? Second exercise, the bridges. Bridge is very, very important, and a lot of people take for granted this. <clears throat> Not a good position for my bridges, so that's my second bin. We're gonna go toes on the ground. And I know some people, they, they do all the bridges with the arms here, just for maybe a way to find where to put your hand. Look over your shoulder and touch over your shoulder, right? Not from here. You can see the height. Now I can maybe take the stability of who's on top of me. Then I rock and I look over my shoulder back. One minute of bridges. One minute. Cool. Third minute, so again, if you're doing this as I'm showing, stop, practice, see if you got the form right, maybe rewind, watch again. Third, this is, people ask me like, why do I do this? Because if I need to open somebody's guard, it's crucial to know uh, a good way to stand up. And we always stand up, not always, but most of the time. Marcus said 20. Huh? 20 each side. 20 each side. Yes, Marcus said that live. So, um, sometimes we jump right up. But imagine that I was inside somebody's guard. So this is gonna be a different way to do a squat, right? So go one. Try to get your foot parallel, not so much here. So I'm going here. I will put my weight a little bit. Right? So imagine that I stood up to open the guard, but I'm still in a not locked position with my legs. I'm halfway back straight because you don't want to be tilted over. If I do that, my opponent will grab my lapel and break my posture. So I want to be like I'm sitting in a high bar stool, but I can put my, hand, my feet on the ground. Now I go bump, bump. I go up, up, strong. Now you can go back on the same knee or keep alter alternating, right? One, two, three, four. Don't go all the way up. You're gonna feel your legs, right? And this again, warm up for the kids or for the adults. We do the same thing here. So if you're an adult and train here, you could come to my kids' class. And if you're a kid and you come here, you could come to my adult class, <laughs> right? So I go, pump, 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 look. Make sure, see, when I stood up, my knee buckled a little bit. I fixed it because I want my knees 
lighten up with my toes and I'm in that just a basic good squatting position head over my heels cool so one first exercise for warm-up was sitting position hand on the ground little butt, uh, butt scoop here little right and then as you progress you add for every third and if you want to do for everyone a technical stand up two we did and the third was this way to stand up one two three then I can go back here and one two three now I'll go back down on this one now, fourth exercise, everybody knows that after we practice technique or teach technique, we do that. We do the uncheatable push-ups as much as we can and uh, with a few jump up to fight stance right away without a step in between. If you can't, you're going to do one knee on the ground and they'll go back to your feet. It's very important, in my opinion, to know to have good skills to go back to your feet, right? Uh, it's important in MMA, self-defense, and in Jiu-Jitsu. Of course, we're not gonna be in that push-up position, but good skill to have. So sometimes what I say is, it's not like a surfer, because the surfer sometimes drops the knee first uh, before they uh, go fully standing. Um, I'm goofy, so if I stand up, I stand up mostly with my left leg forward. But imagine this. So first, if I'm doing the push-ups, I keep my heels together, toes together. You guys know that. Hands here. If you like outside, I, I go here because of my shoulder. So the uncheatable push-up, it's hands off the ground, right? So when you say, um, that's when I go, right? You can increase. It depends how you want to do it. You can do very slow. You can use your explosiveness. And the jump up, I go from here to there, right? I'm not so worried about fighting stance. I just wanna be able to go right up, right? So again, if I'm here, I go straight up, heels together, or right up. Right? Cool? That's our warm-up. I'm a little 